you're also doing braces, orthodontic work uh, for uh, children. And I think you told me that you're also doing orthodontic work by children, teenagers usually. Um, but uh, you also told me that you're doing orthodontic work for adults and that this is becoming much, much more prevalent. Many, many more adults, uh, you know, they have a couple, two, three crooked teeth in front for whatever reason, and they want to straighten it out. They don't want to shave down their teeth. They don't want to put a luminier or a veneer on it. Um, it they, they, they say it's okay, and apparently there is a, there's, there's something relatively new, not totally new, uh, out there called Invisalign where you apparently don't see the braces and the treatment goes relatively fast. And, um, and in any case, the most important thing is you, not like in the old days where those huge metal braces really looked rather ugly, this time it's gone. Tell us a little bit about it. Right. Invisalign was uh, created um, to help adults, actually, who do not want to have metal braces uh, on their teeth. And it does the work as well. It works beautifully. You can smile without people knowing you have braces on your teeth. Uh, you uh, remove them at your convenience whenever you need to eat or just to um, clean it out and you put it back in. It works wonderfully. It, uh, sometimes it takes less time with, than with uh, regular braces, sometimes more. It depends on the case. But it is... Uh, more uh, available to people uh, to have the braces because not everybody uh, want to have metal in their mouth. Mm. So it covers, uh, you know, it covers and does the job beautifully. You said uh, something important, which I think must be a big advantage of those um, invisible braces, those invisible ones. Um, you know, first of all, they're kind of like a mouth guard, right? More or less. Yes. You, you know, you more put them less, on. But they're much thinner. Yes, my, my much thinner. You put them on and you take them off. So you said you take them off when you eat, uh, which a normal brace you cannot. So that must be very, very convenient because you take them off, you eat normally, and you don't have the spinach then hanging down like a flag, you know, from the flagpole after you eat. Uh, um, and you can brush your teeth. Basically, very, very convenient because is it true? that with regular braces, not that they have no function, they're needed. In fact, sometimes I think uh, regular braces, um, the Invisalign doesn't do the trick, but the dentist will evaluate that, right? Right, that's right. It, but, not every case is Invisalign case. Right. So let's assume, however, it is. Uh, the, 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 uh, uh, I heard that when people do have regular braces, due to the fact that food gets stuck when they eat and then again the slightly more lazy person whether he's a teenager or an adult um he will develop gum disease um because of it and gum disease as you mentioned you know ruins your kidney ruins your liver is heart disease you, you, even um even alzheimer um never mind the immune system cracking uh, down and being always sick um and 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 and, and never mind the smelly mouth so apparently when, when, uh, when people have braces and if they're not very dedicated in cleaning, they get this gum disease much easier. There seem to be cases where the teeth are beautiful, it's gorgeous, but now we have a full-blown gum disease. Um, apparently, I'm not so sure. And the Invisalign completely avoids that. Well, the person needs to brush, of course, but because it's easier, he will do it. it Yes, absolutely. It's much easier with Invisalign because, as you mentioned, that the food doesn't get stuck in between the braces. And also, if the, with regular braces, if patient gets lazy to brush their teeth, it not only creates the gum disease, it also creates uh, cavities under the braces. So you get straight teeth, and once the, you remove the braces, you actually have cavities with, which have to be replaced either with fillings or with veneers or with crowns sometimes, only because you had a neglected uh, brushing or uh, you know, uh, good oral hygiene. So that's, that's a very important case uh, where with Invisalign it's much easier when you, know, you can actually see whatever is hanging in your mouth and you just brush it right off. Right. Now, you said that the Invisalign was originally invented for adults, um, you know, to straighten the teeth without having to take luminous and veneers and shaving the tooth down at the same time, also without 
having to have those ugly phrases in it. Because, you know, for a young businessman, businesswoman, by young, you know, 20, 30, 40, whatever, it, it, it's not, it's just not nice. So now this it's is soft nice. with Invisalign. But what about the teenagers? Um, can they wear it too? And why was it only invented for adults? Well, it started with adults because with teenagers, uh, you know, when you go to school at this age, all teenagers wear braces, so that's normal for them. Mm -hmm. uh, nowadays, uh, once kids see adults with their moms or dads wearing invisible braces, they say, oh, oh I want those invisible braces also. So they, they want to smile more, they want to smile for uh, school pictures or for graduation pictures in, in a better way without covering their smiles. So Invisalign was created for teenagers also. It's Got just it. uh, with kids, we have the, the kids have to be a little bit more responsible with the Invisalign because it is removable. Right. So basically what you're saying is you have this, let's say, 15-year or 16-year-old boy or girl. He has lunch. He has the eyes on, um, on, 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 on his boy girlfriend over there, which he wants to chase. And he takes off without putting his, his uh, uh, Invisalign in it. And the cleaning person comes by and sweeps it all into the garbage can. What happens if it's lost? What happens if one of those, uh, because if those braces are there is like, I don't know, 20, 30 of them and you keep progressively changing it a little bit. So what if one of those sets is lost? Well, you have to go back to the dentist and the, the dentist have to make you a new aligner. Uh, and it becomes a little costly because for every liner you lose, you pay extra. So that's the only concern with teenagers. We trying to, uh, you know, teach them to be more responsible because if you lose it, you, you have to pay more for that. So um, that's why it is more convenient for adults because adults are considered more responsible. But again, uh, there are very responsible uh, teenagers and it works for them wonderfully also. Right. What about the responsibility of uh, cheating and not wearing them again? Um, you know, forgetting it and, and just, just not wearing them. Do you, the dentist, um, can you control that a little bit? Can you see, let's say the teenager says, no, I wear them. And you go, I don't think so. You know, a little bit like with people brushing teeth. They say, oh, I brush and I floss every day. And you look at it and you go, I, I'm not, A, you're lying or you're doing it very badly or you're doing it only three seconds. Anyway, either way, you can see something isn't quite chiving. It is, can you do that with the braces also? Yes, absolutely. With Invisalign, it's a liner every, uh, uh, we change the liners every two to three weeks if the patient is wearing it 20 to, 20 to 22 hours a day. So the reason people wear braces is because they want to get straight teeth faster. So if you do not uh, wear the uh, retainer, I mean, a liner and you want cheating and you come in for a new liner it's not going to fit properly it's going to be more pain so you have to go back to the previous aligner meaning if you are cheating the braces are not for you so don't don't start with it if you want to have uh, beautiful straight teeth you decided to go with the braces you have to be responsible with that well, basically it's like we're going to school cheating to pass the exam and you don't cheat the teacher you cheat yourself right Exactly. Yeah, but Delta exactly. are a small kid, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's why for kids, not a responsible kid, we do, I do not even suggest the aligner. Good. There are some kids who don't even brush, and I tell them do not put braces because you're going to end up with a lot of gum disease and, and bone loss and uh, lots of cavities. You, you Again, you create... Uh, more problems like cavities and gum disease uh, with the braces than without. Mm -hmm. uh, and not straight in teeth rather than straight teeth, but all fixed up. Got it. All right. Well, good. So basically, Invisalign definitely good for adults, good for uh, teenagers. Um, and they are really invisible. If I talk to a person, to a normal person, let's say four or five feet apart, which is, I guess, the normal talking distance, uh, would that person, if he's not trained like a dentist like you, would that person know that I'm wearing um, Invisalign braces or not? No, no. Wow. It's completely invisible. It's only visible to a trained eye or if a, a 
person mentions to it, can you see my braces? But yeah. otherwise, no. We've it's invisible. It. Well, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome.